Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Paul once again and I'm, today I'm going to be talking about some dumbbell back workouts you guys can do at either home or at the gym, whichever place you are going to be able to have the accessibility to your dumbbell. So today I just want to share 5 exercises you can do for your back workout. I hope uh, you guys get some you know, value out of this video and also if you do get some value out of this video, please hit that like button and subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on new videos from me that you know you guys can always uh, use for your next workout and gain some tips on your fitness journey so let's get right into the exercises So the first exercise is going to be incline bench dumbbell rows or you some people call it the chest supported dumbbell rows so this one you can either do it on uh, a bench if you guys do have a bench at home uh, or you guys can use a flat chair without the back support you know it won't be an incline but you could do it as a flat bench dumbbell row so that you at least have that chest support for the exercise so this chest support is going to give you more stability uh, when you're performing this exercise to prevent other muscles from working to compensate for your lack of strength in your back um, so this is going to be a great exercise uh, for you if you just want to really just focus on that back growth. This exercise is not only going to help you have stability while doing the exercise, but it's also going to prevent uh, your lower back from having too much stress. Because if you are standing and doing your uh, upright dumbbell rows or you know just uh, bent over dumbbell rows, you're always going to put that stress on your lower back as you are putting down the weight. Uh, to get that stretch on your lats, it's going to put a lot of stress. So this exercise is going to help you prevent uh, that lower back stress. Okay, so when you're performing this exercise, you want to keep your chest on the bench to eliminate momentum and also to give all the focus uh, and muscle tension on the back and the biceps while you're performing this exercise. Uh, you want to be flat on the bench. Uh, you want to have your hands out uh, supinated or pronated is fine whichever variation you will like or you could even do a neutral grip um, most of the times people do the neutral grip it's just more comfortable that way so when you're doing this workout you want to choose that grip you want and then you want to just pull your elbows back you want to squeeze your scapula and your shoulder blades together and also just keep your chest on the bench at all times uh, you want to work out that back do not move your wrist just feel like you're moving your elbows back and forth and back and forth okay so I'm gonna be doing these exercises when I'm doing that I'm gonna give an extra stretch on that lats uh, when I'm fully down and then I'll be bringing that up and squeezing it nicely on the top okay the targeted muscles are going to be lats traps your rhomboids and your biceps so if you guys would like a harder variation or if you do not have a bench at home then you guys can always do the standard regular bent over dumbbell rows obviously you want to lower the weight a little bit so that you don't put too much pressure on your lower back if you guys have a lower back problem or if you would like some challenge of course you can increase your weight and perform the exercise but please make sure you guys have your back straight do not go all the way to 90 to put more stress on your lower back please find that nice angle that is comfortable for you when you're performing this exercise and you're getting the full range of motion so let's get right into the second one the second exercise is going to be the dumbbell pullover Okay, so this dumbbell pullover, a lot of people use it also for chest day. And this is not only a great chest workout, but it's also a great back workout. So you're just going to have your upper back. You'll be able to see the, uh, the form on the video uh, that I'll be putting or playing on uh, the background. So the core and your glutes are going to be the key in keeping the body stable and to prevent injuries. Don't forget to contract the scapulas and upper back muscles to stabilize the load while you're dropping and also when you're lifting the weight back up. So this is going to be the eccentric and the concentric uh, portion of exercise. So uh, not only is this workout going to work out your back, but it's also going to help uh, with your shoulder mobility because of the stretch uh, that is giving. 
while you're slowly dropping uh, the weight for the stretch on the lats at that portion. So uh, targeted muscles are going to be your serratus anterior and your lats for your eccentric portion when you're dropping down the weight and also it's going to work out your triceps and your pecs when you're doing the concentric portion of it so when you're pushing back the weight up. So if you see the video that's going to be playing on the background so there are two variations that I've tried there are many uh, different ways of doing these workout but I would like to get a lot of stretch on my lats so I kind of instead of being at a flat body I kind of uh, angle myself where my uh, torso is a little bit driving towards the ground and my uh, feet and my legs are just stabilizing my body while I'm getting that stretch on my lats when I'm doing my eccentric portion of it or the lowering the uh, weights down or if you feel like your lower back or your core is not stable enough or strong enough to stabilize your body then please get a nice 90 degree angles with your torso your legs and then your your calves and your feet on the floor so make sure you do not sacrifice form for heavier weight or form for other you know stretch on the body because form is going to be everything when it comes to a long-term run in the gym so please remember that all right so let's get right into the third exercise so the third exercise is going to be renegade rows when i first did this exercise with the dumbbells i overestimated my strength and i actually used a lot more weights than i actually can lift without sacrificing my form so when i first lifted these weights off the ground doing in the proper form i could not lift it and i started jerking so you don't want any of those jerks you don't want any tilting or imbalance in your muscles so when you're doing this exercise please start with the lighter weight and move up slowly while you are focusing on your form so the upper back obviously is going to be key but you are going to be using your entire body to stabilize while you are performing this exercise so what you want to do is you want to be at a push-up position with the wider stance and your legs spread apart and then also you're going to basically pull up like you're doing a row except you want your entire body to be stable so you don't want to be tilting to one side you don't want your, your hips and your back tilting to one side okay you want to try to keep everything nice and tight while you are squeezing and pulling back at that dumbbell so please focus on that this exercise is going to help build overall core and your leg stability while you're performing and working out your back so it's a great exercise i would definitely recommend it if you want some more challenge then obviously you can add some push-ups to it you can add some uh, burpees you can add any other variations of push-ups when it comes to this exercise so go at your own need try out new things so but please focus on your phone first okay a fourth exercise is going to be W raises. These are, I would say, very accessory movement or exercise that you can do after everything is done. It's going to be basically like a finisher for me when I do my workouts. So when I'm really just tired and just trying to end my workout, you know, it's I will use lighter weights, obviously, to target the rear delts. Okay, so it's going to target the rear delts and also this is going to be a workout your rotator cuff if you're going to pull back your hand past your elbow i wouldn't recommend doing too much but just a slightly just to target that rotator cuff and also your rear delts while you're performing this exercise i'll start at an angle with your torso and your lower body and also i'll keep my arms and uh, at an angle with my palms facing each other and then all you're going to do is raise it up and form that w with your two arms and your torso so this exercise is going to be great to finish off your workout and to just kind of you know focus on those small muscles that you wouldn't really target when you're hitting those bigger muscles on your back so you want all the details as much as possible when you're working out and you want to balance it out right? so the last exercise i would say is a it may not be a possible for some people who are working out at home it will be weighted pull-ups with your dumbbells obviously if you do have a pull-up bar or you're at the gym you, those are this exercise will be possible for you but if you're at home uh, cannot perform the weighted pull-up then I wouldn't be able to do this exercise but it'll be basic you're just going to be doing pull-ups uh, while you're holding on to the weights with your feet 
So well, pull up is going to be a great exercise if you're trying to grow that nice big back and the V taper. So if you cannot do a regular pull up or even weight up, then obviously you can't do weighted pull ups. Then just try to you know uh, get support with bands or find a chair so that you can pull yourself up and just uh, work on that nice slow eccentric portion of your exercise. Well, that's going to be it for me today, guys. That's uh, four or even five exercises that you guys can try at home or even at the gym if dumbbells are the only things that you can use if you have other equipments just maybe put in one or two uh, dumbbell exercises because dumbbells are going to be great to form balance in your muscles so anyways if you guys like this video please hit that subscribe button for more videos and also i hope you guys are able to gain some value and some tips out of these videos that i'm creating so please leave a like or even comment down below what kind of videos you would like to see next anyways thank you i'll see you next time